Ooh, gems. Must get all the gems. Hey, all the Plebeians, it is Sister Girl here. Hopefully y'all having a great day. I'm having a great day. We are back today in Pet Tower Defense. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I can tell a lot of y'all are too. And want to thank everyone for the love and support that we've been given. But uh, one thing I'm getting is people are having problems getting gems. So we're going to talk about some easy, super easy way to grind gems. Um, because in all honesty, I got probably 400 gems in about two hours. Not buying any Robux and some pretty quick ways so that you can be able to hatch some pets. So let me show you all what that's about. Let's do that normal video intro stuff. If you haven't already, please make sure you smash, smash, smash the lovely like button and do the same thing with the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. And our beautiful pleb of the day is Alpha. <laughs> Thank you for the love and support. Yes, I did back up the Minecraft server before I blew it up. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> So we're going to talk about gems. We're going to talk about the easiest way to get gems. We're going to talk about hard ways to get gems. So let's get on into it. I am going to show you all a couple of things. I am going to run an infinite mode real quick and uh, we'll show you all what's going on. So first of all, there is several ways to get gems in this game. They have the quest line, which the quest line is actually really nice, especially the level and the damage. And those two are really important for OP weight, but generally just completing quests is going to help you get, I mean, it's free gems. It takes... 30 gems to hatch so any one of these if I claim a few times will get me a ton of gems daily quests literally completing three stages get you a hatch everyone can do stage one I don't want to hear anything about it everyone can do stage one with the starting pets so super super easy method right there but it's not efficient to get gems long term so I will say the least effective way to get gems is actually doing story mode Story mode is fantastic for XP, but absolutely horrid for getting gems in game. You get rewards a lot faster, especially if you're doing the hard mode. But eh, eh, no, this is this is like the worst way to get gems. Worst way. Second best way to get gems. It requires absolutely nothing except for you going AFK. So we're gonna go to the ranch. We're gonna go sit in here, and I'm gonna go to bed now. Okay. All right, so you, doing the ranch, you are going to get a gem every two minutes. So like I said in the video, you get a gem, you get 30 gems in an hour. So that's a hatch in an hour. So in order to get 270, you need to be AFK for nine hours. Not that hard. So if I go to work, I can come back. I have 330 gems. So literally I came back from work today and I had more than enough gems to do a 10 times 10 hatch. Now, I know I said that doing story mode just normally is a bad idea. However, every time you complete a new area for the first time, whether it's easy or hard mode, you get 20 gems. So we're going to do some little math here. So forest has easy and hard mode. They each have five areas. So five times two. So there's 10 total areas just in forest that you can get through times 20. That's 200. So we have four areas right now. I'm sure they're probably going to add a couple more considering how long this slider goes. Uh, that's 800 gems. So you can earn 800 gems. And it takes about 10 to 15 minutes a piece. So, you know, you can earn about 80 gems in an hour just playing the game. That's not including if you're leveling up. Leveling up in that is a little bit better. But the fastest way to get gems and XP is infinite mode. Now, you do also get gems from hatching. Like my current quest for the day. For that daily is I have to hatch five pets. So I have enough to do a times 10. I need the legendary that's in the shop because if I get him, I get my first evolve three for the lovely cyber dragon. So I'm actually kind of wanting and hoping I get it. If I don't, I'm not going to be too heartbroken. By the way, if you are grinding gems and you go to hatch, please make sure you have enough for a times 10 because you actually are saving 30 by not ha by 
being able to do 10 in total instead of just individually clicking them. So I have now hatched to my heart's content. I now get 20 gems just for hatching five eggs. No, I don't have any more cash so I can hatch, but I do now have a ton of pets I can now combine. So, like I was saying, infinite mode is the fastest way to get gems, fastest way to get XP, and the fastest way to get XP for your pets because of that legendary egg. So, this is why infinite mode is so good. So, one, you have a daily quest every day to get 20 gems just to get to wave 10. I got to wave 10 with some of the starter mobs. I got to actually, like, wave 18 on my own. The other thing we are going to get when we are doing infinite is we're going to get a level at least and we're going to be dealing damage so damage is going to give us the most and most infinite modes take about 30 minutes so i'm going to go jump on into an infinite mode real quick i'll bring y'all back when i am done and i will show you how many gems i get to collect Alrighty, not my best run only got to wave 49 normally i can do about 51, but I know I at least leveled up once and we did about 2 million damage. So it should net us a few gems. So we're going back on to the lobby now. Alrighty, so I'm going to click once for a level up. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 70 gems in about 30 minutes, so that is probably the fastest we'll be able to get. Doing the story modes for the first time would probably net you, in that same amount of time, about 40. So definitely doing infinite mode would be the best way to get gems in the game. You'd be able to grind and get about maybe 140 an hour. If you're going even super quick, you may even be able to get more because you're completing it more quickly and you're getting levels. Being lower level helps, I will admit, by the time you're at my level, it takes forever to level up. So you won't be getting as many gems from that. But definitely, these are the fastest OP ways to get gems for this game. So if you've made it to this part of the video, I greatly appreciate it and hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see y'all tomorrow. Oui.